Hello everyone. So, we finally got the trailer for the Sonic movie sequel, and oh man, it looks awesome. It feels like they are trying to make this the best video game movie ever made, because it looks fantastic. They are just throwing in so many easter eggs and references to the games in this trailer that just get me so excited for this film. So, let's talk about it. So the trailer starts with Sonic on a rooftop stretching. Now this might be a reference to the first trailer for the for the first Sonic movie. And I gotta say this out right now, I love the visuals they are doing for this film. It looks great. I especially like Nighttime Sonic acting like a superhero out around in the real world. The next thing we see is Sonic eating a chili dog, which might be a reference to Sonic's love for chili dogs in the animated cartoon series that aired back in the 90s and also in the first film that has always been iconic to his character. Going in to stop some bank robbers in the city, kind of gives me some Spider-Man Homecoming vibes in this scene, which Tom tells us that Sonic is trying to be a superhero-like guy of the city and has stopped crime any chance as he gets. But because he is a little kid at heart, he is kind of a little reckless here and there, and he ends up making mistakes that often get people hurt or cause damage to the city. And I'm loving this direction for Sonic, especially with the silhouette of Sonic on the rooftop in front of the moonlight, which gives me some Batman vibes to it, or it might be a reference to one of the Shadow the Hedgehog games. Moving forward, we see a tornado which is most likely the death egg in smoke that is powered by the Chaos Emerald. And we also see Robotnik popping out of his death egg robot along with his weapons. Some of you might recognize this from the movie poster. I especially love the suit that Dr. Robotnik has in here with his iconic red, black, and yellow suit from the video games. But one of the first things he does when he arrives to Green Hill Zone is to go after his partner, Agent Stone, who you might remember from the first film who now works at a latte shop called The Mean Bean. Now, the name is a reference to the spin-off game Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which is a pretty cool easter egg. But the one thing that everyone was excited for, especially for die-hard Sonic fans, is our first look at one of the Chaos Emeralds in the Sonic universe. Which makes sense because the Master Emerald was tasked to be guarded by Knuckles, and he does show up in the movie. If we look to the upper right on the scene, we can see an owl. The only owl we know in the Sonic movie franchise is Longclaw, so I'm guessing maybe she might still be alive? And we also see that the emerald might be linked to Longclaw's ancestry or a family member who might be connected to the Chaos Emerald. And then we see of the end credit scene with Tails coming to find Sonic. Now, Tails does look a little bit different compared to how he looked in the first film near the end of the post credit scene. There is a little bit of differences here and there, but I still think he looks fantastic. We also get a good look at the tornado plane, which appeared in the second game. So this film looks like 
they're gonna have less screen time for the human characters, like Maddie and Tom, and it will probably be focusing more on Sonic and Tails. And I'm actually alright with this direction. We also see Sonic and Tails going to a cabin and wearing funny outfits, which I think it's kind of hilarious. It might be a road trip adventure like they did in the first film, but who knows. And we also see Sonic snowboarding on some snowy mountains with one of Robotnik's drones and using it as a snowboard. Now this might be a reference to the ice cap zone from Sonic 3 and Sonic Adventure. Now that's actually pretty awesome with just how much they're bringing into the video games and adapting it here. And of course, the money shot of this trailer is Knuckles the Echidna, voiced by Edris Elba. And everything about this is just absolutely perfect. You can tell Knuckles will be a powerful foe for Sonic for this movie. Now, it looks like he crashed the party in Tom and Maddie's house. And I guess they won't be happy when they return with what Knuckles left behind. Now, some people will be asking why Knuckles is going against Sonic and why he is working with Robotnik in the first place. And well, it all goes back to the video games. And that's pretty much how the relationship started, because he was tasked to guard the Master Emerald, and Robotnik uses that manipulation on Knuckles, telling him that Sonic is the bad guy, so they can work together to protect it from him. And that's why you see Knuckles going against Sonic, working with Robotnik, but he will most likely change his ways and become the good guy. But there's one thing Sonic has to get over. Don't forget, if Long Claw is still dead and she was killed by Echidnas, and I think if Knuckles wants to go good, Sonic is gonna have a really big grudge against Knuckles. But we will have to wait and see when the film comes out. And the last thing I want to bring up is this scene where Robotnik sticks his head through the wall and it looks like maybe this is probably a reference to The Shining film. Which I do think it's kind of funny. But yeah guys, that's my review on the Sonic 2 trailer. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if I missed anything from the trailer, let me know in the comments below.